Shelly postcard playtime. I have a beautiful jelly print in the color of green that I just love these green colors. I think they're so pretty on the background. I wanted to use these flowers. They're flowers that from vellum. Louisa Hensel, I think it's from a Decem, what are they called? Defemramara? She and Barbara, they do at Kobo. They do it together, 49 Dragonflies in uh, December. I think this is what, where I got these flowers from. I really like the vellum look to the flowers. And attached to a four by six white card postcard so I lay the flowers down on the background surface I decide to use a glue gun I rarely use a glue gun However, I think this project, a glue gun fits this project. So here I am taking the largest flower, going to the next size flower and kind of staggering the petals. And then I remember glue gun, glue is hot. I do have a lot of speckles all over the place. Tried to clean them up a little bit, but was not able to. Here's a smaller size, and I'm going to put a dab of glue from the hot glue gun. You can see some of the sparkles that I have been using. I'm probably putting a little too much glue between there. I'm not real sure about my glue gun but I'm learning here I need less glue and I stagger the petals around the flower and I have a, a tiny petal to add and I try to stagger it too in the middle and then I don't want to touch it because it was hot and I don't want to burn my fingers. That's one thing you have to be careful with a glue gun is not to burn yourself. So I think that one is ready. And I see some extra glue on it. So what I think, if you use too much glue on your flower, if you try this, all you have to do is scrape it off and it comes right off with your fingernail. And there is some hair to the glue, and so I wanted to take that off. And I'm using archival ink acid-free, permanent, waterproof, and it's from the Windy Velch, uh, Vetchu, I'm not sure how to spell it. I mean, say your last name. It's potting soil, but I really like the brown color. And I'm going to put some hot glue to attach the flower on the bottom. And so then I have two nice big flowers. So the background is three different jelly plate. That I did um, on old paper. 
then I'm looking through my flowers because I want to put another flower between the two big flowers. And I have to see what I have left. And I think I, I will have three pieces left to do a little flower. Trying to get a hold of the vellum between my fingers. It looks like Christmas. I have so much glitter all around. I haven't worked a lot with glitter and I think it's messy. It's a messy way of working, but it looks so pretty and shiny and sparkly sparkles. Here I'm just trying to get rid of some of the sparkles and glitter and dots that I was playing with. Edging the flower again with the potting soil brown archival ink. I'm happy to have brown ink in my stash. I just got it this um, Friday. Because now I have brown and black and red and green. <laughs> A little more colors to work with. A few more colors, red and green and black and brown. Okay, and getting my clear... I'm sure you saw it there because it did focus on it a couple times. And uh, check, now this particular one was done on parchment paper. This was done on wax paper, but the wax paper just came up with the glue. And so if you want the piece, which doesn't match anything, if you want it, which I will keep in my stash because you never know when I might use a piece like that. I didn't even like the little pieces. I do like the big piece there that came off the parchment paper. And I'm thinking about making a couple more it looks spacey, but I think it looks kind of cool. These are space flowers, hmm? Grown on the planet Venus. So here's my mess, most of my mess. And I'm just combining all the glitters that I have. I don't have very many. But I think I'm going to try to get two more done for my postcard. There's a little strip that won't work for the postcard. So I'm making a dab. And then what I'm doing is making straight lines out from that dab so that I have a circle of straight lines around the round blob, I should say, maybe. Uh, in, and then I just added the stuff there that I, the sprinkles. Now here I go, I'm making another littler one, a little dot. Oh, oh no, I'm not, I'm making, 
am I making a spiral there? I guess I'm making a little spiral. Interesting. Oh, I'm looking at that again. <laughs> I'm going to put it over there. So you have to wait till this is dry and you want to um, push it down a little bit. And here I'm trying to just get more of it on before it dries completely. It takes a moment for it to dry. It, I, if you and the other part is it has to be thick. Your glue has to be thick, and I think you need to practice a little bit before you do a video like I did. <laughs> Because I had no practice. I This is the first time I have tried this. And I look at that again. And you know, I think it looks funky. And these are whimsical flowers anyway. And so the whimsical flowers from Venus. I like it. Now what am I going to do? I don't know. I'm going to check to see if these are dry and hopefully they worked out the way I want them to work. And you kind of have to push off, push the little uh, strings away from the glue. And I think I got two nice pieces I'm gonna put the bigger piece there on top of that one. On top of that flower, I should say. And I need to glue it in place. So I'm trying to find something. Oh, I have a little bit. So what am I gonna do with, I'm gonna put all this probably back in the jar. Am I... I'm not sure... I'm covering something that maybe needs a little more... Oh, I might... I might have done another one. Not sure. I wanted to... We'll see here what happens. Oh, so I have two good ones, and I do need to get another one for the third. So here I'm checking to make sure it's dry. And it is, and so I'm lifting it up. I do not want to glue all the pieces down until I can make sure I get a good piece for the little flower. And I do. I'm surprised. I'm excited. My Venus flowers. So I look at it. I have to cut it down because it's too big. So I'm just pulling it apart. And then I see I need to cut it down still more. And so I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm just going to pull it there. And voila. I cut, oh, wow. So I finally succeeded in making three of these. I had to take another little piece out. I, this is the first time I've done this. I, you know, and I, didn't even practice beforehand, but here goes the glue gun. I'm going to stick it down. My whimsical space Venus flowers. <laughs> fun, fun idea I think that I had, and it worked out okay. I'm really pleased with the look. Just pressing them down so the glue can stick onto the flower 
and made these beautiful sparkly inlays inside the flowers. I do have to pick a little bit of the white strings out of there because I don't like the white strings for some reason. Didn't look good. Shaking it off some more. I hope you have a great day. Today I was kind of frustrated with technology. This is postcard six and I need to think of a saying and I and I think um, I did. I did think of one and it's stay curious. I think this is a stay curious whimsical flowers from the planet Venus. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your evening. Be kind and sending love.